You're listening to the best of the Morning X. You can also catch it on the Morning X podcast, wherever you get your podcasts, or at 99x.com. Now we go to the streets. Man, these talks about all this brings back major, major memories. This was, I I would say, uh, my history of jobs, like this would be, you know, this would be the best job. And then after that, limo driving, and then pizza delivery when I was 16. Everything else pales. Yeah, pizza delivery, that was key. Always an adventure. You never knew what was... You always thought, you know, what's going to be behind that door? Is it going to be a big, monstrous tip? Yeah. Or, well, crash, or maybe or not a, a tip. monstrous <laughs> tip. Something else. Uh, tip. Absolutely. So you decided you were you're a little bored. Yeah, I wanted to get back. And also, I mean, i got to be honest with you. People, I don't know what... I don't know what you people think we make up here. But it's very hard to support uh, the lifestyle on seven bucks an hour. Now you've got four dogs, so you need four dogs. Have you seen the new cutting edge in pizza delivery? I forget what city I was just in, but the guys had the pizzas in the soft pouch. Oh, the guys! Hang on, you're talking to the guy. Hang on, on the hood. On the hood to keep it warm. On the hood of the car. Really? The soft pouch was strapped to the hood in some way. And the pizza was, you know, on the hood of the car to keep nice, it warm. Nice gas fumes. I, I was somewhere. Yeah. I don't <laughs> know yeah. if I want my pizza. No, but it's in that, you know, it's in that big thick thing. And then the heat from the engine. Yeah. It was winter. I don't know where I was. I was somewhere recently in the last two months and I saw that. Hmm. That's interesting. And that spawned a great idea, though, because when I was, I was up running errands and I was up at Barrett Parkway and I went to eat at Bahama Breeze. Right. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. Way up there. Yep. Mm-hmm. And it was during... The crash time of 5.30 in the afternoon, which is impossible to get home. It's oh, God. Bad traffic. Yeah. Yes. So I put the Yukon Denali seat warmer on high, and I slid it on top of it, and that thing was boiling when I got home. <laughs> Sweet. Really? That was the, I never thought Good of that. Good idea. It gets that's so a... flipping hot, the seat warmer in that car. Yeah. I, that thing can warm a pizza? I put it on high, and I stuck the paella on it, a and it paella? was so hot when I got home. It was brilliant. Brilliant idea, oh. Barnes. Well... It's a lot. I'll tell you what the Pizza industry, delivery. the industry barns uh, definitely has changed since the day that we had these. Well, how did you keep the pizzas warm when you were delivering back? I in didn't the day? care. Why? Uh, okay, but what did they tell I you? I was to do? sixteen, Jimmy. But they didn't give you a box to put it in. No, we had uh, just a big pouch. It, it, it would hold three pies. Oh, see, we when I did it, we had these big, huge metal heated oh, uh, yeah. uh, boxes about the size of like a, a mini fridge that you keep under your desk. Only they were a lot, I mean they were lunky. You put that in there. We and had then, a soft pouch. Yeah, see we were, this is back in jeez, Could you do the 76. dough? Could you flip the oh, dough? Oh, I made pizzas. Oh yeah. You know, you and I ought to go have a little pizza making. <laughs> no, you you would still remember fun. how. Do the dough, yeah. Sure, I could get it up in the, I could get, I could get altitude on the dough making the, making the pizzas. Yeah, but back then, it was, and then your your car would permanently smell like pizza. Absolutely. Right? You go uh, on a yeah. date, uh, <laughs> you pick up a pizza? Oh, a little no, pepperoni just, smell. This had work. That's right. So, uh, called up my friends at Domino's, hot and fresh and Oop. tasty. <laughs> the bell, what's wrong with the bell? Oh, Domino's. It's on del- the touch, crap. I can tell you, they deliver, they deliver a bigger plug bell than that. So, uh, you know, because they knew that I was struggling here. That was really nice of them. Uh, seven bucks an hour, and I gotta be honest with you, and no offense, guys, you know, Barnes Crash, Leslie, but the tips here suck. They really have gone I mean, down they really lately. Do. You can't even get you know, nothing for the effort. So we well, This t- whole production here, people, is free. Free. Every now and then when you see us out in public, throw us ten or twenty bucks. Yeah. But you know what? When you come up to pick up your tickets here, if you win tickets or movie passes at the radio station, would it kill you to drop a couple no. bucks in a tip jar? That's a great point. Uh, after the show every day, I walk by, and there it is still with just the uh, one starter dollar in it. And if you see me out in public, buy me a beer. Come on. Yeah, How people? hard is it? I'm trying mean, to make ends meet. We're not doing this for free, for God's sakes. Anyway, so I uh, went out and delivered some pieces the other night. A couple of these don't need a setup. One of them does. But, uh... Domino's. Hi, how are you? I got one uncooked cheese. Uncooked? Uh, large uncooked. Nope. I wanted it cooked. <laughs> uh, you know what? You you need to specify to have it cooked. If I say I want a large cheese pizza, they don't cook it? 
No, not anymore. You have to ask to have it cooked now. Shouldn't they tell you that when you call? Uh, it was in a what flyer that was sent this? out about uh, two months ago to the neighborhood. <laughs> what, is there a problem? Well, yeah, I'm going to actually have to cook this now. Well, the company's feeling was that they, they didn't want to take the risk of some uh, pizzas being undercooked and some overcooked. So well, unless how do I cook it? Hmm? I mean, well, how do I cook it? You would put it in your pizza oven. Not the regular oven? No, you have to have a pizza oven. Okay, well, I don't have one, so I don't want this. Then, uh, do you know if a neighbor has a pizza oven? Nope, just moved here. Don't know any neighbors. You have, I like, don't a have anywhere. Flame of a lighter? No, no. Yeah, just take it. Okay. Um, they should have told me that when I called. They felt that. Uh, they, I know, but still, that's ridiculous to think I'd call for an uncooked pizza. <laughs> uh, one other question. Mm -hmm. um, they're doing a marketing survey for their advertising. Uh, what radio station have you been listening to? I just moved here. I don't even know the radio station. Okay. Have you ever heard of 99X? Nope. No. Have you ever heard of Barnes, Leslie, and Jimmy? Nope. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. You know what? It's, it's a clever way to disguise marketing. I mean, we don't have a big marketing budget, so by no. you hitting the streets, it's a real grassroots you know thing. Yeah, grassroots, that's it. This one here, imagine this woman called up and ordered two large pizzas with everything. Now, the large pizza is probably about 16 inches in yeah. diameter. Uh, so I am showing up at her house with two pizzas that are about four inches in <laughs> diameter. Okay, two pizzas, four inches oh, in diameter for her larges. Domino's! Hi. Two large pizzas okay. that your cinnamon's right there. All right. Two large? What? Yeah. That's two large pizzas? That is too large. I don't understand. I thought um, large is large. Well, that's uh, those are our new larges, actually. Large what? They're pizzas? <laughs> that looks yeah, like a the, tiny pizza. <laughs> they're smaller than uh, they were. There are new larges because... I I'm paying $20 for two little pizzas. Well, they're large. There's no way that's large. What I am told is that they restructured uh, the sizing. What's your medium? What's your small? <laughs> well, the small would be about smaller than the large. Um, I'm not going to pay $20. That's, that's a ripoff. If that, come here's, look at this picture. Here's what, here's what I'm told. Come in here, because okay. I'm, not, I'm not buying this. I mean, I swear, look. These are the coupons. Yeah. And you're telling me that there's a medium. I mean, this is what it ordered, was two larges. What the Domino's memo that they sent to all of us said was they had restructured the prices because I guess they came to realize that a lot of people were wasting a lot of food, so they made the largest smaller. That is just screwy. Well, it's also the economy uh, has hit everybody, and I know that they've been cutting down on their size. Oh, you're kidding. But they don't want you to waste food. Well, it's my right to waste what I waste. I think the feeling is that if you waste food, it's a victory for the terrorists. <laughs> that is a very interesting thing. Uh, very nice. There were four inches round? Uh, m maybe at the most. Like a hamburger bun? It was about the size of a hamburger bun. So she just gave up at the end. Well, yeah, it's very she interesting. Gave up. She started writing the check. Unbelievable. She started writing the check. We go out and do some more at some point, but uh, here's just one more. Hi. I'm sorry, I didn't see the, uh, I didn't see the fork there. I apologize. I have uh, two uncooked two large. Uncooked? Yeah, the two uncooked large. Uncooked? Yeah. I, I don't know what uncooked is. They're not cooked. They're not cooked? Did you specify to cook them? I just wanted two pizzas. One right. all the way and one half pepperoni, half cheese. Yeah, I think these, that's... No, these that's, aren't cooked? Oh, here's your half pepperoni. It's a little bit slid. We... <laughs> you have to specify to cook them now. I've never done that before. It's new. Since when? Since, uh... We just had pizza over the weekend. It was since yesterday. <laughs> Why the didn't they tell me that? Uh, they're telling customers as they get their pizza as they order. It's uh, for security reasons. Uh, it's it's security. Well, you can put it in your uh, pizza oven. A pizza oven? I just have a, an oven. Would a and neighbor this have, one a neighbor have a gets pizza oven? A little, no, I, this is not going to work. They're still very good. I understand. But uh, I'm going to give it back to you, and we'll start over another day. Next time you order, if you specify cook, Nobody told me I even had to specify. 
Uh, you know what it is? It's they don't want to undercook them and they don't want to overcook them. So they're just giving you the pizza, saving the, the energy, conserving the energy, and also the price is a little lower. Okay. Well, I'm going to give it back to you this time. I can't take them back. I don't want them. Uh, do you have uh, pets? I can't take them back. Why not? Because you have purchased them on the phone. It's not what I thought I was getting. Nobody even told me. I had to say whether it was cooked or not cooked. The this is ridiculous. If you put it in a regular oven for like 70 or 80 minutes. Well, I can't take this one because it's all over the box. <laughs> uh, here. Okay. There. I, I, I I'm having a over. real difficult time with this. Next message. Hi, Jimmy. This is Melissa up at the front desk. Um, you wanted me to tell you whenever there was messages from the morning show, well, a woman called in, did not want to leave you a voice message, but she said your voice was really irritating. I just wanted to let you know. The best of the morning X. 99X.